in the middle of the game, you had vocalized that you didn't think you were able to win if you had made it to the end. How did you come to that conclusion? And how did that mentality inform the way that you played the rest of your season after that? You know, there's a couple of things at play. One, I fully intended on going to the end with Michael. And we all know that Michael is a comp beast, an iconic BB player already, I would say. And so I knew if I was going to go to final two with him, I would most likely get second at, at the very least. Um, also, I feel like as part of the leftovers, I was very, you know, happy to be part of that alliance that you know ruled the season but I realized that I got kind of a lot of blood on my hands in terms of jury management especially with the girls so I knew by being a part of that alliance and doing what I needed to do to be a part of that alliance that my relationships especially compared to other people in the alliance were pr probably most at jeopardy so a few weeks ago you revealed Kyle's suspicions about an alliance between the BIPOC house guests to get him nominated. And while it did accomplish that goal, there was some pushback on you sitting on that information for a couple of weeks. How do you look back on your choice and the situation that unfolded? I know when it came to Kyle, I just abs absolutely wanted to make sure that the facts were correct. The only thing, I mean, it was an impossible situation to be in. And the only thing that would be any worse than the actual situation was that if I was going to spread any sort of misinformation, I wanted to make sure that I didn't mishear what Kyle was saying, that I didn't misunderstand what he was saying and do my due diligence. Then, of course, you have the twist like Direfest that pops up. And I, I just wanted to absolutely be confident before I brought this to the house. In his eviction speech, Michael said that you had leaked information and had made various deals, which obviously shocked you. How did it feel to see your closest ally do that to you? And how did you try to rally after having your game called out? I was definitely shocked because a lot of those conversations, pretty much all of those conversations that I had had was to further Michael and I's game. It was kind of a strategy that we had. I would go in, I would say, I'm okay with Michael leaving just to get some more information. And I would bring that information directly back to Michael so he could know where people's heads were at. So we could both move forward together. So it shocked me that he was bringing this up because he was well aware of it, especially from me. And also that I just didn't ever think if we were on the block together, that he would say anything to throw my game under the bus. I, I, I thought he understood his placement in the house, which is there is nothing he could say or do that would keep him from going home should he ever find himself on the block. So that was surprising to me. And it, it definitely hurt. He definitely shared a lot of things that I trusted him with and confidence. And I am excited to have the opportunity to ask him some questions about that and just kind of clear the air. Last week, you tried to orchestrate evicting Taylor over Alyssa only for Turner to force the tie. And this past week, you denied up and down it being the Taylor vote, only to tell her hours before you were evicted. How do you look back on your effort to keep Alyssa? And what made you decide to come clean to Taylor before you were evicted? So in terms of keeping Alyssa, it was kind of, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I didn't really think that it would probably go through. I, I knew there was a chance. And if there was a chance that Taylor would go, she is a strong competitor. And I knew competing in that next HOH, which I lost in that tiebreaker against Taylor, I'd have a better chance of winning that should I be competing against Alyssa. I also knew that Turner was probably going to evict Alyssa. Um, anyway, so mostly I wanted to just create a little suspicion um, on the flip vote, thinking maybe I could, you know, the next week, if Taylor's still there, maybe Taylor or Monty might have a little suspicion with Turner. Um, I also just wanted to put Monty in the position where he'd have to break the tie. If he's going to make those kind of decisions, he should have to get a little bit of blood on his hands. I'm not going to do all his work for him. So um, I knew I was the target. I couldn't be any more targeted than I already was. So might as well shake things up. As far as telling Taylor, I definitely wanted to let her know and clear the air. I consider her a lifelong friend. Um, and, you know, I knew she would understand given the position that I was in. All right, to finish, give me your rapid fire thoughts on each of the final three, starting with Monty. <laughs> Set in his ways. Taylor. Lifelong friend. And finally, Turner. With peace and love, loose lips.